he'd book too. Um, I was going through my, um, like getting my program all set up so I could like record a video right now. And I noticed that I still have videos that I haven't put up yet, um, that I need to edit still. So, um, apparently you're going to be getting a review of Murder on the Links by Agatha Christie and, um, a try a chapter for place in March Mystery Madness. I don't know why, but at least the try a chapter, I could have sworn that I already put that up. Um, it's a good thing I'm not a gambling man because I would have bet the farm on that one. Um, but apparently I did not put that up. So, um, what do you know? Dude, I'm so, I don't even know what's going on, guys. So, Death in the Clouds. This was the read-along I was doing for March Mystery Madness. And, um, I was kind of selling this book. It is, um kind of like Snakes on a Plane, but with Agatha Christie. And um, it kind of was like that and kind of not. Um, I was talking to um, Cozy Mystery Reads. Um, it's kind of a newer booktube channel. Go check her out. Um, and we were talking about where to start with Agatha Christie and everything. And, um, she was like, yeah, I haven't read any Agatha Christie, but I'm going to start with And Then There Were None. And I'm like, I started with And Then There Were None. And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, I almost wish I could, like, go back in time and start with one of her more mediocre books and see if I would have kept going. Because, and then there were none, is like the high watermark. Um, for me, that um, Murder on the Orient Express and Death on the Nile um, are probably her best books. And um, this month, I've added to that with um, Appointment with Death. I think that's an uh, excellent book. And um, I'm going to go so far as to say, and Death in the Clouds. This book starts off with a bunch of people on an airplane. And I have an ebook of this. And there was no diagram of the seating arrangement in it. And I think it was Scott. Was it Scott who said it? So the Bookish Bryants? Scott, I believe, said that in his ebook there was a diagram of the seating on the plane. And I am like, huh? Because that is the only thing in this book that was confusing for me was I couldn't tell like I knew who was sitting next to each other but I couldn't visualize how the plane was situated because it sounded like the seats were facing each other like in a train but on a plane and that's really weird and then I remember I saw a diagram when I first started reading the book I saw a diagram of the floor plan for the plane on Google and I looked away because I'm like I don't want to know if it says like this is where the person died and or whatever I didn't want to see any of that so I didn't look. And then after I read the book, I'm like, okay, I really need to see this diagram. Couldn't find it. Googled like 30 different phrases of it, um, different uh, ways of saying it, and never came up again. So um, I don't know if maybe I dreamt the whole thing 
or maybe Google's fucking with me. Um, I, I, I just don't, I just don't know. That was the only thing that was weird. And it's so funny because like, I love Poirot. I really do. Um, and it's so funny because like he was like going to get air sick or something. So because he was so worried about getting sick and um, he was feeling so ill, he missed like the whole murder and is like kicking himself the whole time. Like, um, oh, damn my weak tummy. Um, and so he's like trying to figure, it just cracked me up. I'm like, that is so classic. Like, it's kind of like when you're like watching NASCAR. I don't know why I'm bringing this up. I haven't watched NASCAR in forever, but like you're watching NASCAR and it's like hours are going by and you're just watching cars drive in a circle. You go into the kitchen to grab a beer or something. And while you open the fridge, you hear this like huge wreck and the announcers are like screaming and you run back in and, um, the wrecks, already happened and they're like oh that was horrible that was awful and you're like I just walked away I was like seriously out of the room for like two seconds and like Poirot's like I, I took a nap and someone gets murdered like what the F I'm the world's greatest detective like how did I miss this from happening uh, so I was just like thinking that was the greatest thing ever um but I won't go into too much detail about the actual murder because that's kind of the fun part of the book, I think. But the characters in this, um, they're really well done. Like, um, I really liked all the characters. Um, there's a writer who's freaking hysterical. Um, there's a funny dentist, there's a hairdresser, and even, like, the rich, snooty people, like, had their own little level of charm, and one of the things that, um, I don't want to say I fall short of, but, like, there are some Agatha Christie books where everybody is so hoity-toity that, like, I don't really care what happens to any of them. I'm like, come on, like, make with the poison. What the hell's going on here? Um, but there are books like this one, Appointment with Death. Um, Death on the Nile was like that for me. Like, I really dug a lot of the characters on it, in it. Um, <clears throat> so anyway, for me, this book was so much fun. Um, it, I wanted the whole thing to take place on the plane and it doesn't. Um, but I was just really pleasantly surprised with it. And originally we were supposed to do a chapter a day, um, and go through the month. I couldn't do it. Like I finished it. I started it like, what day was it? A Friday? I started on a Friday night and I was done with it Saturday morning. So, like, it was, I just, I didn't want it to end and I didn't want to stop it. So, um, it was just really good. I, um, I recommend it and I'm not going to take anything away from the bookish Bryant's if they decide to do a video on this, but, um, there was something that they came up with. So I hope they do a video on this. So if you're watching, guys, um, because if I would have had the knowledge that they had, I don't know if I would have liked this book as much. I would have liked all of the people in the book and how the book was written and everything. But I don't know if I would have been so fond of this book knowing what they knew. So that's a bit of suspense for you. I just, uh, Christied you. So hopefully they'll do a video on this. So, um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, if you read it, um, 
with us on the Discord. And if you haven't joined the Discord server yet, links down below. Um, and my book, The Brain Hunter, book one of um, Zombie Zero, is out now on Amazon. And it's the best book you've ever spent, even before spending it. So um, it's just a novella um, of awesomeness. If you like murder mysteries slash horror um, slash zombies slash body horror slash police procedural slash everything, you will love this book. I promise. So um, we will see you later.